Hi everyone, this is Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller and Bloxham Medical and I'm here today to do another one of these hair transplant results walkthrough videos. So the theme of today's video is a hairline frontal band tweak. Uh, the patient in this video is actually a gentleman I've shared several times before on YouTube, kind of as his case has progressed. A um, couple interesting things here, I think it'll be a, a, a cool video. But uh, let's jump right in and kind of go through this patient's case and see why it ended up being a hairline tweak video. Okay, so I first met this patient in 2017 or 16. He was in his early 20s at that point in time. And as you can see, already had pretty aggressive loss, diffuse loss kind of from front to back. So I told him what I tell most young patients in this situation is, look, you're a good candidate for surgery. We need to plan on doing two big FUT procedures, about 2,500 to 3,000 grafts a piece to do the frontal half and then the back half at a later date. We have to start conservative with the hairline. We don't want to put you in a bad position down the road. We can always tweak that hairline later at a later date if we need to, but one big one focused on the front, one big one focused on the back. So you'll see these lines drawn on here. This is what we were doing for that first frontal surgery. So we plan to do about a 3,000 graft FUT procedure went beautifully. This is how it looks post-op. I'm also going to include a few staple pictures here 10 days later just because his post-op looked a little surgical. So as you can see, proper buzz cut 10 days later after he cleaned it. Okay, so I next saw that patient back uh, 6 and 12 months after surgery. He came in for all his scheduled follow-ups and I shared his video, his results from those two milestones both times on YouTube. I'm going to attempt to put those video links up here. Hopefully it works. Uh, but everything went well. You know, it, it grew in beautifully. Uh, did nice comb through videos for both of them. He did very well. So he is a uh, professional guy. He went off, sort of lived his life. And a couple years later, in uh, about 2021 or maybe late 2020, heard from him again. And he came back saying, hey, it's time to do the back half. You know, that's kind of how we had planned to do this. As I described earlier, one big uh, FUT for that frontal half, a second big FUT of roughly the same size, takes about five to 6,000 grafts to do a, a whole scalp. So another one of approximately 3,000 grafts for that back half. So he came in for a, a consultation, you know, all was great. We were good, he was, he was leaving. And then uh, he, he pulled the old classic one that patients so often do. And he said, you know, well, doc, since we're here, since we're going to go back in any way, what do you think about doing a little tweaking of that hairline? Uh, as I said before, his, his hairline was beautiful. You can hopefully see it in those other videos there. Uh, but I said, look, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. I, I understand the urge to kind of do it now. Um, for his, sometimes I wouldn't. Sometimes I would tell the patients, nope, let's do that second big one and see how we are and worry about that later. For him specifically, I was okay with it. So what we decided to do was uh, just a little bit of, of flattening and a little bit more curvature in the corners, just like I said, a tweak of that hairline, and then use the rest in the crown. What I also told him was, look, anytime I drop that hairline or do any work in the frontal band when I've previously done a transplant, I'm going to trim up the prior transplants and I'm going to reinforce it a little bit. That's just the way it works. It's what you want to do. So the plan was to trim up a little bit in the front, do that slight reshaping, um, pack that out, and then use the majority of it, the vast majority of it in the crown. So let's jump into the pictures uh, of that plan post-op his second surgery. Okay, so here we go. So as you can see, slight reshaping in that front. I used about 800 grafts to uh, reshape and then reinforce in that front, and then the, the rest in the crown, about 2,200 or so in that crown. You can see a nice big crown case there. Okay, so I next saw this patient back uh, six months after that, that second operation. And as I said throughout the whole video, what I'm going to focus on here is the front. I understand we did a big crown procedure on him, and I'm, I'm very eager to update the uh, YouTube community with his crown. But at six months, it, the crown is, is very, very immature. I typically tell crown patients, and if you're one of my crown patients, you've heard this before, six months is kind of just the beginning. Six months back here is kind of equivalent to like three months in the, the frontal band. You're just starting to see stuff cooking. So he is waking up back there. It's, it's going to work in the back. I feel very confident about that. But what I really want to focus on for the result here is the front because he came back in at six months and it just looked fantastic. Uh, it was everything that we hoped it would be. So let's jump right in and go through his wet comb through of this frontal tweak at six months. 
All right, here we go. So first and foremost, um, I want to apologize for the video being a little dark. I'm not really sure why it is. Standardization is important in this field. I always film my videos, take pictures in the same area. For some reason, the camera decided it was going to be a little darker that day. But regardless, I, I think you get the point here. As you can see, uh, he just did beautifully. I, I love what was achieved with that little tweak there. I think it fits his face very well. It's also very appropriate. That, that hairline's never going to look silly or anything like that. Even though it's a little lower, a little um, slightly more aggressive than it was before, for lack of a better term, it works. And I, it just looks, looks fantastic. So we'll get into a few... Uh, comparisons here just so you can kind of see remember that's where he was in 2017 this is where he is now and he's in such a good situation because remember he has this whole frontal foundation that's in good shape that's a hundred percent transplant what you're seeing there he thinned out more in the front uh, and now he has this this back half that's cooking as well so he has entire transplants from front to back and he has the front all beautifully done up with the hairline exactly how he wants um, glad we were able to come in and and tweak the hairline a little bit too because He's got very dark, coarse hair with fair skin. That sometimes can be a little tricky. You have to be sort of careful with the breakup in the hairline. You, have to, you often have to use a lot of singles to achieve that nice, soft nature with it. But I think we did it. Um, and the last thing I'll show here is kind of just the top. So you can really see that he's transplants, you know, front to back at this point. So a couple different additional hang angles on the hairline there. Uh, just a little bit more than I was discussing before. And here's the top. So as you can see, you know, that's fantastic. And he's transplants front to back, very good. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, just kind of a fun little hairline tweak. I love this patient's hairline. I, I think it's, it's beautiful. It's a very good representation of, of what we do here with kind of our dense pack uh, hairline work. And uh, like I said before, just very pleased with this patient in general. He's, you know, in his mid to late 20s, maybe late 20s now, uh, but he's set. He's transplants front to back, um, so he doesn't have to worry about it. He's already got that front in good shape. So this is just a very um, satisfying case for, for me personally, and I know it's a very satisfying case for him, so that's always a great outcome. As I said before, when that crown matures, I am very happy to update you guys with a fourth video on him showing the crown there. Uh, but in the meantime, I, I hope he enjoys it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, as, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's been fantastic. We are going to keep making these videos if you guys will keep watching them. And again, as always, I am Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller & Bloxham Medical, and we will see you guys in the next one.